Welcome back YouTube, I have Ahmed again from In-Depth Tech Reviews and I just received my iPhone 12 Pro Max. The first thing that came up to my mind is how good is the camera. The iPhone 12 Pro Max main sensor has f1.6 aperture and it's 47% larger than last year's model. As per Apple's keynote that gives the iPhone 12 Pro Max 87% improvement in low light. Apple also gave us a couple of hints about the astrophotography. So the question is, can the iPhone 12 Pro Max be your phone of choice in capturing the stars? To answer this question, I'm gonna put it neck to neck with the Google Pixel 5 to see if the 12 Pro Max can do any better. Now everything is ready to start this long astrophotography photo shoot. Both phones are mounted to the same tripod and there is a huge difference between the two in the exposure time. The 12 Pro Max maximum time is 30 seconds while the Pixel 5 averages between 3.5 to 4 minutes maximum. So let's see the first shot side by side. Both photos look really nice but there are some major differences between the two. And the first one is in the white balance. Look at how warm the iPhone image is and the Pixel 5 is leaning towards the cooler tone. And based on what I saw in reality, the Pixel 5 colors are more accurate. And the second difference between the two is in the amount of stars. As you see, the Pixel 5 showing a lot more than the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Not only this, but the Pixel 5 shot is a lot cleaner and I don't see any noise in the sky. But if you take a look at the 12 Pro Max, you will see the image is a little bit grainy. I understand that the Pixel 5 took four minutes to capture the shot versus only 30 seconds for the iPhone 12 Pro Max. But think about how smart Google's software is in taking a shot in four minutes without any star trail. And for me, if I dedicated time to capture the stars, I would be happy to wait for the four minutes to get the best results rather than compromise the image quality to save few minutes. So the win goes to the Pixel 5 for the bigger amount of stars, the better quality and the more realistic colors. Here's another shot and both phones produce the same results consistently. Still the same difference in white balance, the iPhone is leaning towards the warmer tone while the Pixel 5 is doing the opposite. But what really stands out this time is the ability to see the horizon line in the Pixel 5 shot that doesn't even exist in the 12 Pro Max's image. I have to say that I do like the shot coming out of the 12 Pro Max, but it looks a little bit artistic to me. While the Pixel 5 is producing the most natural looking image. And as expected, the Pixel 5 is showing more stars with better image quality overall. So the win goes to the Pixel 5 once more. And here is one final shot, but this time I'm pointing both phones towards the sky to show you the full potential of each camera. And as you see in this shot, the Pixel 5 has an exceptional amount of stars and the 12 Pro Max really lags behind. Now let me play a quick slideshow for the rest of the photos I took for this comparison for you to make up your mind. And here is my final conclusion. Yes, the 12 Pro Max can capture the stars as Apple claims, but if you are interested in astrophotography, the Pixel 5 or any Google Pixel should be your phone of a choice. I know some people would say using another camera app with a manual mode on the 12 Pro Max can produce the same results of the Pixel 5. In my opinion, this could be right, but it will require time and effort to produce the same results without any star trails. But with Pixel phones, it's a point and shoot experience, all you need to do is to hit the shutter key and wait for a few minutes. So that's pretty much it for today. That was my astrophotography comparison between the 12 Pro Max and the Pixel 5. Please let me know in the comments what do you think. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like my video and if you do, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.